EA Games. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent to someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Beds empty, no note, car 
are gone, out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the girl has locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button to cast. Try and flipendo these crates with your knockback jinx. Remember, press the X button to cast. Harry? Now the other one! Flipendo! Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear, Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. To climb onto a crate, Walk up to it and use the up directional button. OK, your turn, Harry. Push into the small crate to climb on top and then run over the gap to auto jump. Right, we need to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes and it's driving Mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Right, Harry, let's get to it.
this wire carry. That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Uh, right, let's go find Dad. leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx so we can get through the gate. Harry, come on, let's go and find Dad. Hey, look. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a puffs game. I'm making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your Folio Magi. Press the select button. This will show you the Folio Magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards. The silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. Um, enjoy the burrow, Harry. Witches and Wizards card. Felix Summerby. Best find Ron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. Oh, my God. 
I'm Arthur Weasley. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. It's just through the gate, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. Holding the X button levitates each piece of junk. Use your directional buttons to move the junk about and press the triangle button to drop it onto the rocks and break the junk up. Could you charm them and drop them onto the rocks, please? Maybe we can find those gloves. I know I left them around here somewhere. Remember, Harry, it's just like the charms class last year. Better find the denoming gloves. We can't denome without them. Lift up the crates and then drop them on the rocks below. Wingardium Leviosa! That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa! That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa! Well done, Harry. Nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we denome the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. Thanks for all your help, Harry. I think Ron's run off ahead through the gate to do some denoming. See you later, Harry. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of that's no magical junk. To fling a gnome, you're going to need a good run up. Hit the square button as quick as you can to build up speed. Once you reach the fence, you begin spinning on the spot. Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the gnome. You get points for distance and for hitting the target. Press the triangle button to throw. Nice one! You hit the rock pile. You hit the phone box! 
I'm high score. Yardley Platt. That was really good fun. Do you want to play again? Hello there. Fancy a wizard duel? A wizard duel? Don't tell me you've never taken part in a wizard duel. You've got a lot to learn, Harry. Is this safe? Of course it's safe. Uh, well, mostly. Okay, dueling is really simple. All you have to do is try and hit your opponent with the knockback jinx. Every time you hit your opponent, you get closer to disarming him. And don't forget, fully charged knockback jinxes can be cast by holding the X button down and then releasing it. But don't worry, Harry. Fred will go easy on you this time. Okay, let's duel. Get ready! Duel! Young Potter's going to have to be on his guard this afternoon. Fred Weasley's a master tactician. Nice work from Potter. For a beginner, he's doing really well. Great play by Potter. He's really holding his own. Underway, with Fred getting quickly into his room. Lovely work from Potter. Weasley's got his work cut out now. Terrific stuff. Well played, Harry. Ow. Expelliarmus. Ah. Well done, Harry. Now let's try again. But this time we'll introduce some special jinxes. Good idea, Fred. See that TV? See the way it's sparkling? That means it's got a special jinx in it. To get the special jinx, you have to force me to hit the TV with one of my jinxes. That will release an orb that you can run over and pick up. Anything that sparkles like the TV has got a special jinx in it, so remember to look out for the sparkles. 
Oh, I nearly forgot. Special jinxes can only be cast using the circle button. That's important. Come on, let's give it a try. Get ready! Jewel! You won the first round! Get ready! Jewel! Ah. Ow! Ow! Nice work Ow. from Otter. For a beginner, he's doing really well. from the youngster. Ow! Nice stuff there. Uh. Oh, that's lovely. Uh. Expelliarmus! Ow! Wow, look at that! You're a natural, Harry! We need to find Ginny. She's wandered off somewhere, and the whole family is waiting so we can go to Diagon Alley and get our school supplies. We'd better split up and find her. Oh, by the way, watch out for some of Dad's junk. If you come across any, use your knockback jinx or your Wingardium Leviosa to defend yourself. If you find you're getting a little low on health, chocolate frogs will help replenish your energy. So keep an eye out for them. Right, let's split up. I'll go this way. See you soon, Harry, and good luck! Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. Yardley Platt, serial goblin killer. Sir! 